One of the most frustrating things that can happen when traveling on a flight is not getting your luggage returned to you when you reach your destination. So what should you do when this happens? Well, in this video, I'll be breaking down the steps you should take when an airline loses your bag. Let's go. Dream vacations start here. Hey, it's Ben with Ben Tennis Dream Vacations, helping you plan for your next trip or vacation. So the first thing you wanna do before you decide to storm into the baggage claim office and give the airline a piece of your mind for losing your bag is to be patient. I know that's easier said than done, but there are a couple of things that can happen if you just wait. First, if you're arriving into a large hub, it's highly likely that the bags are being loaded in waves. So just because the bags stop dropping onto the carousel doesn't mean there aren't more bags coming. Second, and this has happened to me, your bag could end up on a different carousel. So just look around at the other carousels to make sure your bag isn't on one of them. And third, it's possible your bag made an earlier connecting flight, which would mean your bag is just waiting for you at the airline's baggage claim office. If you have done all these steps and still can't locate your bag, now would be the time to alert the airline. So here's a step-by-step -step guide of what you should do next. Step number one, you'll need to locate the baggage claim office of the airline that operated your final flight. If your entire trip was on a single airline, then this would be simple. However, if you're on different airlines with connecting flights, then you'll need to file a claim with the airline that operated your last flight. Just keep in mind that if you've flown into a smaller airport, you may need to report the missing bag to a contract agency that works with multiple airlines. Just look for the logo of the airline that operated your last flight. Step number two, once you find the baggage claim office, inform the agent working there that your luggage did not arrive as expected. You'll then need to provide a copy of the bag tag that you should have received at check-in. And much like the way a package is tracked by FedEx or Amazon, your bag is tracked the same way by scanning your luggage at every connecting point. With that being said, the airline should be able to determine where your luggage might be. In most cases, your luggage simply did not make the connecting flight and is now on the next flight over, which unfortunately could mean the next day. Step number three, if the agent is unable to locate the whereabouts of your bag, then you'll need to fill out a missing baggage report. When you do this, fill out as much information as you can about your bag and your travel plans. Include a detailed description of the size, color, and material of your bag, including any identifying tags. Also, make sure the report has your local address and your phone number, and be sure to get the phone number of the baggage claim office, as well as some form of reference or tracking number, so you can follow up with the airline if you have to. Step number four, ask the airline what they will cover. When you're filling out the report, ask the airline what they're willing to provide for compensation and to what extent they will reimburse you. Many airlines keep amenity kits on hand to pass out to customers with missing bags. In addition, the airline should be able to give you guidelines, including whether or not you're eligible for a refund for any check bag fees you have paid. Once you have completed those steps, it is now the responsibility of the airline to deliver your bag to you and should be willing to cover the cost of delivery regardless of where you're staying at. If the airline asks you to wait until your bag arrives on the next flight or asks you to return back to the airport to retrieve your bag, you're under no obligation to do so. Simply decline and ask the airline to deliver your bag to wherever you're staying at. If you need to pick up essentials while your bag is being located, like a change of clothes, toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, all these items should get reimbursed to you by the airline without question. Just make sure you keep all your receipts for every purchase that you make. If you ended up purchasing trip insurance, Baggage delays and lost baggage are usually covered and you can get reimbursed up to a certain amount to purchase items that need to get replaced due to a missing bag. If after 24 hours you haven't received your bag or any updates about your bag, now would be the time to escalate the situation. I would recommend filing a complaint with the U.S. Department of Transportation. While this likely won't resolve your missing bag any sooner, the airlines try to reduce the amount of complaints it gets because they are compiled and reported every month and the airline has an incentive to keep them low. So if you encounter any hassles or frustrations during the process, then they should be reported. If your bag does end up truly lost, and generally speaking, an airline will classify your bag as lost after 14 to 21 days. But if your bag does end up truly lost, then you are now able to file a more detailed claim against the airline for lost rather than delayed. This will allow you to receive a higher compensation. Most claims will ask you to list everything that was in the bag, including purchase dates and even original purchase receipts for items over a certain dollar amount. Just keep in mind that the pre-station does apply, so don't try to get reimbursed for that $250 coat you bought five years ago. Per regulations, airlines must set their compensation limits for lost baggage at no less than $3,500. But this doesn't mean that you're automatically gonna get this amount when your bag is lost. It simply means that airlines are obligated to pay at least this amount and will pay higher if you can prove your bag's contents were more valuable. There are some ways to help reduce the chance of a lost bag. One is to keep all your connecting flights with one airline. 
when you try to switch carriers to try and save money, that's when the chances of creating a missing bag problem increase. Another way to help minimize the effect of a lost bag is to keep all your important items in your carry-on bag, like your medication, jewelry, electronics, and cash. All these items should be packed in your carry-on or personal item bag. Most insurance companies won't cover these items anyway, so it's best to keep them with you when you travel. It would also help to pack a change of clothes and some toiletries in your carry-on bag, just in case your bag gets delayed or actually lost. Hey, if you found this video helpful, be sure to give this video a like and feel free to check out some of my other videos where I help answer some other travel related questions that you might have. And if you want to stay connected and see more future videos just like this one, then consider subscribing to the channel. I want to thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in a future video.